Hey, I'm Jonathan Blundell, back to give you some more tips and pointers on how to get started with WordPress, whether it's a blog or a WordPress website. Uh, we're going to give you some tips and pointers on how to get going with it. Uh, as we showed you in the couple videos before this, we have a basic plain Jane website. This is with the default theme right out of the box. Uh, we've added a single post in addition to our Hello World that comes by default. You'll probably want to go back and delete that if you're starting from scratch. Hopefully your webmaster has actually taken care of that for you, but just in case. Uh, so we have our post, we've added uh, some text, we've added a little bit of formatting, we've got our photo here, and I noticed while I was away in between the videos that when I click this this image here, it opens up, it gives me the full size of the image, but it takes me away from my WordPress website. There's no mention of my name, there's no mention of where I'm at other than in the URL bar. Uh, it's just a straight link right to that image which I guess is fine but for a marketing branding standpoint that's probably not a good idea so and, and thinking about it I was thinking man I, I, this photo just doesn't quite fit the text so I want to go back and change that and let me show you how we're gonna do that I want to show you too as well just real quickly if you're on your site remember that gray bar up there at the top if you're logged in that's gonna be there if you're not logged in it will not be there so if you get to your site and this is not there then you're logged out so you'll need to remember the URL that your webmaster gave you and you want to log in to your site and we're back to our dashboard and then we'll go to posts click all posts and we can actually see the list of our posts that we have here click here and we're back to that same editing page that we had from the beginning uh, with our photo here so again like I said that photo just doesn't quite fit my content real quick easy way to delete this I'm gonna actually hit delete image and it's gone no more photo so real quick easy way to get that photo out you will wanna click that delete image so it gets rid of any captions and anything that may be left behind by that photo and I'm gonna go back and I'm going to add a new photo to this post so I can want it in the same area I'll click here I'm gonna add media I'm gonna actually upload a new file and we're gonna do this one here <clears throat> And this is a photo of a girl doing hair. Now, thinking back to what I was showing you earlier, this will kind of remember this point. But so we have our title here. It's just girl doing hair. That's the actual name of the file. But we're going to change this to Savvy Shampoo uh, in use. And we'll, that may sound like a, a funny title, but we're just going give it, to give it something. Savvy Shampoo in use. Uh, then we're going to give our caption, a woman. Savvy Shampoo with a friend. Uh, we'll also do our alt text. Now you see I'm using this savvy here in capital letters. That's that's kind of just a little keyword that we'll want to pick up here in a second. So before we did just the default attachment settings. We said we wanted it to basically be none uh, we want it to link to the media file, which the media file opens it up to a brand new window with your, your image. But we want to actually, we know that we like it on the right hand side, so we're going to go ahead and set that to right. And instead of media file, there are some other options here that you can link to. You can actually link to a custom URL, so if you want to link this to your Facebook page or someone else's website, or maybe a page within your website, you want to say, I want to link to this particular product or this older blog post or whatever it might be, you can copy and paste that URL there. Uh, you can also do oops, can also do the media file, which is what we showed you. And skip down here, we'll do none. If you don't want it to link to anything, you just want it to be a static image, great, click none. But what I really like to do, and I found is really useful for search engine optimization, is I like to actually link it to an attachment page. WordPress will actually generate a page for you for your images when you link to this attachment page. And it comes in really handy for search engine optimization. So I'm going to prefer that. That's kind of a best practice, a tip that I like to pass along. We're going to insert it into our post. Looks pretty good here. Let's go ahead and preview it on the website. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think that we will we'll go with that. So we'll go back here and I will update the page and view post. And this is what our post looks like. So we have the text, our photos here on the right hand side, formatting still the same. Now remember we clicked on that other image and it opened up a brand new window. But now if I click on this image, 
it actually has the wrapper of my WordPress site around it. So I have my whatever title I may have put here, a description, and whatever title I've given this image, that's the actual title of this post. So that comes in very handy with search engine optimization because it's another page that you can use to highlight keywords. Uh, so if your brand is Savvy whatever, Savvy Boheme, as one of my clients says, Savvy Shampoo in use, they might be one of marketing Savvy Shampoo. They can put it on there, and this is another way that Google can actually track your images, track your site, and they can link back to you. So this is just a great way to kind of boost your search engine optimization for um, your WordPress site. So we'll go back to our main site and see that that's all there, and we've got our image added.